Hello everyone, my name is Candice and welcome to Candy Creations. First, I know you're probably wondering about that competition. I do have the results for you and I will announce them at the end of this video. So for today's video, I found a kitchen cabinet door in my grandmother's storeroom a little while back and it was unused and unwanted. So I got permission to take it and I'm going to show you how I'm going to turn it into a sign for my gallery. So let's get crafting. So this is the cabinet door that I picked up. It's never been used, um, but it's made of cedar, so it's a pretty good door. So I'm going to give it a good general sanding. As you can see the door has um, a bit of a water stain at the bottom here and I was gonna paint over it to cover the stains but I think if I stain the door um, a nice dark brown I don't think it would really show up anyway and if I'm gonna put plants at the bottom you wouldn't see it really so I'm gonna use this Sean Williams acrylic latex paint the color is java and I'm going to mix this in some water in order to create my stain. Now the brown is a bit lighter than what I wanted for this door so I'm gonna add some black to that and that should darken the brown. To make this look like a stain, I'm going to just brush it on and then lightly rub it with my cloth in order to get it into the grains of the wood. So it will look more like a stain rather than um, you paint it on some paint on the door. dried I still found that it was a bit light for what I had in mind so I went ahead and mixed more um, paint um, adding more black to it and this came out to more of the dark chocolate brown that I was going for I want to add some flowers to the bottom of the door so I have this old shower caddy and I'm going to recycle it to be my holder to hold the flower pots so I'm just going to cut off the pieces that I don't want and as you can see it was a lot harder than I initially thought. I thought it would just use the pliers, clip and that's it. But I really had to twist it back and forth to get the wire to cut. one of those shower caddies with the plastic lining on it and some of it already started to flake off and I didn't want when I painted that you see the bumpy finish so I tried to scrape off as much of that plastic lining as I could possibly do and it was taking a lot longer than I thought it would I thought because it was already flaking off it would just come off easy but I really had to use the scissors to scrape a good bit of it off and after a while I just decided to just do the front of it because it would take me forever to get all of this off. Next I proceeded to give it a light sanding to get any rust spots off and then I used some white spray paint and just sprayed the whole thing. If you 
you've seen any of my other videos, you would know that I love my stencils. So I cut this stencil and it's a code that we chose to put in the front gallery. It says you will be blessed in coming home and going out. And this is from the book Deuteronomy. So I'm just going to apply this coat to the top of the door and using this Mod Podge, I'm going to seal off my stencil and then use this white water shield paint to fill it in. My words are now dry and to seal off the door I'm going to use Penta's Polyurethane Clear Varnish and it's in the satin finish so I'm just going to give the whole door back and front one coat because it's not really going to be outside in the weather so I think one coat should be fine. I need to put something in the back so that the door can hang but I don't want to put those little loop curtain hooks because they stick out too much so I decided to put some screws along with some washers and then try to use that to hold the wire. Now excuse my hammer because I couldn't find my own so I'm just using this pliers to pong a pilot hole into the door and then I screwed on my screw along with the washer and then you see this thin little wire I have here I can't remember where I got that from but I'm going to use that to then wrap it around underneath the washer um, from one screw to the other to make the cabinet door look like an actual cabinet door so I went ahead and drill a hole and I found this cute little ornate um, knob and I went ahead and screw that in using these two gold hooks to hang the basket from but I don't want them to be gold because they would stand out too much so I'm using this white nail polish to cover it up and I find that nail polish doesn't scrape off the metal as easy as spray paint. I have these two flower pots that I'm going to use for my basket and I'm just going to use this gesso and I learned this method on YouTube where you add baking soda to give it a nice texture, almost like a terracotta pot. So I mix that in with my gesso, my, it's almost like a white chalk paint. And I apply that to my pot and I give it about two coats. some character to the pots so um, again I'm using my gesso and I'm gonna mix that with some blue and black and I'm just going to randomly dry brush that all around the pot
guys i hope you all enjoyed today's video and i hope it gave you some inspiration to take something that may be unused and use it in a different way so now for the giveaway that i had and i announced it in last week's video thank you for everyone who participated and the winners for the christmas wreath is katrin madeira and the winner for the rudolph stocking hanger is sharon amos and thank you very much for participating. You will be contacted and I will get those prizes out to you as soon as possible. So thank you everyone for watching. God bless and I hope you have a good one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!